So while we are praying, there's a brother somewhere there. You are just in front of a woman that put on red. You have a shirt that carries many flowers. I call you out because of your daughter, whom you love so much. You travel from your country to one country, and someone deceived you to join the secret court. And this secret court, right from the beginning, they said they would like to take your daughter for sacrifice. And then you have no female daughter. That gives you boldness to, to join the court. Now you have a daughter whom you love so much. Will you want to give this child? Please come, you are there. You are a nice man, but you are the she. It's very painful. You don't know how to go about this. At the beginning, it's normal thing in your community, in your environment, in your society there, that they will go for spiritualists. Yes, sir. But you two join them for spiritually. You travel from your country to a neighboring country. Yes, sir. When you got there, you ask them you need blessing. Your business is normal. You are very poor. You own debt. Yes, sir. And they say, no problem. From there, you begin to enter, enter, and enter. You went there three times before yes, they finally told you that they will make you rich. Yes, sir. But they will need your female child. It's just true, sir. Then you don't have female child. Yes, sir. Say, a female child. You don't have female child. Yes, it was later, 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 you give back to a female child now. Yes, sir. And you love this child so much. Very much so, sir. But they say they want to take this female child. Yes, sir. It is true, sir. It is true. Jesus Christ's name is free. I will personally make you to travel back to your country. I will pay the ticket. You go and bring that your daughter here. Santo, Santo, come here. Watch your screen. They have deposited many things in his body. It's free now, but the Holy Ghost has set a fire around the daughter. I know everybody you are afraid that eh, this world not that they will grab the child like this. It will just leave. It will not wake up. Or could be just like that. Oh, he has the picture of the child. The daughter is here and himself is here. What a beautiful daughter. Emmanuel. My name is Manyatela Alfred Masango. I come from Nels Sprite in South Africa. On my profession, I'm a legal consultant. When I came here for the end of the year service, on the 2nd of January, I received a prophecy through the man of God. The prophecy said that uh, there was a brother who was deceived to go with a friend to a neighboring country with the pretext of going to worship there. So while we are praying, there's a brother somewhere there. You are just in front of a woman that put on red. You have a shirt that carries many flowers. I call you out because of your daughter whom you love so much. You travel from your country to one country and someone deceived you to join the secret court. And this secret court, right from the beginning, they said they would like to take your daughter for sacrifice. And then you have no female daughter. That gives you boldness to, to join the court. Now you have a daughter whom you love so much. Will you want to give this child? Please come, you are there. So the prophecy 
indeed was true in my life. I went to Mozambique with a friend of mine. Um, when we went there, unknowingly I was initiated. I was initiated and they also asked me by that time, that was in 1998, to bring my daughter as a sacrifice. By that time, I did not have a daughter. I only had boys. So to me, it was something that was, was not uh, a big deal. In 2006, then I, God blessed me with this beautiful girl. Immediately after that, she got sick. We never knew what the problem was. Through prayer, God um, said I should give her the name Vigelwa, the protected one. I never understood why. She went in and out of hospital up until she got well. Not exactly well uh, in the true sense of the word, but she got better, I could say. So when I came to the synagogue church of all nations, the men of God then uh, called me and I came forward and I was delivered. During that night when I was delivered, I found out that when I came back to South Africa, my daughter had a dream of a huge man when she told me who came to attack her. The, the man wanted to open her skull, bearing the truth to the prophecy of the man of God who said that uh, my baby will just wake up silent and dead. But my baby screamed. That was the time when the man of God was delivering me here. And I do believe that when he said the baby was now protected by fire, that was the time when the huge man ran away from my child. My daughter has never been sick again. And also, I was also delivered. Being a legal consultant, my business had stopped to function. I specialize in labor matters. Nobody came to consult me, but ever since I came to the synagogue, God has opened a lot of doors for me. Bring your daughter come. Wow. Come here. Come here. You, you carry your daughter and stand there. Carry your daughter here. Stand there. In the best name of Jesus Christ. That's all. This is what you need today. Tell your neighbor, this is what I need today. Tell your neighbor, this is what I need today. That's all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Wave your hand, 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 wave your hand. Father, thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.